Glass is an operatic tragedy filmed in such a mundane style that the subject matter is suppressed in a crystallized latticework of notches and crevices, so minute and fractured that a viewer unaccustomed to M. Night Shyamalan's taste for mood and tonal atmosphere might become frustrated beyond belief. Such an outcome can also be described as a suppression of subconsciously liminal substrates akin to superpowers, identities, or assumptions regarding the nature of alternate realities. If one were to go into this movie as, or with the abilities of, one of the three central characters, one might as well have transferred one's alter ego into the cinematic realm, replete with similarities across the looking glass. It is no coincidence that the main trio's sidekicks gather together wearing the colors of their gods. The act of breaking oneself into compartmentalized fragments or nodes is common amongst those fluent in psychology, computing, and the occult. The subject matter transcends dogmatic boundaries and can be seen as a spirit inhabiting multiple fields simultaneously. This art is about people projecting their attributes across other people, things, places, and ideas. There is no one place for this genius loci, as it is incapable of discerning what should and should not be taboo or sacred. Person to person, countless mundane remarks will be made about this movie's subjectively perceived faults, flaws, errors, and the like, concerning what is confined within modern tastes, but nothing negative can really touch it in any substantial manner. What is living beneath the mundane? Is it an archetypal demonic entity, a clairvoyant second sight, or a monumental interpretive system? This movie is about something so utterly profound that it took not only 20 years to construct, but also 20 years to see itself becoming. It is paranormally gifted in the art of emotional trauma directly sublimated into the singularly frightening act of hacking the system. The amount of people who will treat its insights with respect is probably lesser in quantity than the amount whose personal normality is incapable of penetrating a simple symbol. That said, there is a quality so entrancingly humorous about the formal delivery that it is definitely actually deadpan comedy perfected to an obscenely exalted degree of pernicious exactitude. Like a mimetic virus lurking between complex material objects obsessed with appearing unextraordinary, a subconscious communication channel forever non-representational as itself, only capable of messy translation, permeates the interstices of this puzzling game of a movie. It functions as the game, the players, the puppet master, etc., just like how any forms could appear as the multiple masks in the imaginative performances of a powerful, lonely, and conscious entity, forever invisible, yet somehow always there. Religion is sometimes about finding one's purpose. It can also be about taking something seriously for once. Powerful objectives in the art of cinematic storytelling are still yet to be achieved. The foundation for any particular film taken into consideration amongst the variegated works of many talented artists could be the personal experience with the other films in this entire repertory or canon. Look at what M. Night Shyamalan has not only assembled, but said in glass. Each quote alludes to something greater than itself, like sacrificial prayers. There may very well be an internalized method for negotiating the obstacles of the world we live in. Nevertheless, the movie displays a believable veneer of precisely incredibility. Truth sneaking through the little pockets of everyday existence to alter the choices of its too often passive participants. Mental illness can strike near the core of any person. And as to whether or not the movie provides a healthy empathy for those who see themselves outside the bounds of others' worlds may prove to be controversial. Sometimes showing the opposite of the truth can save it, and something goofy might just need the right key. The art is game. You kind of have to interpret it. I am you. Amazing. Turn it around with positive thinking.